Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Welcome to another Mystic Unicorn reading. Uh, welcome to another general love reading for you. Yes, please keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading. Uh, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. It is for my water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind also that this could be, uh, this is a timeless reading, so this does not have to resonate for you at any specific time. Yes, whenever you're guided to watch this reading, then that is the message for you in that moment if it resonates for you. Yes? All right, so for my Cancers, Scorpios, and Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, um, this is general, so take it as it resonates, but also we could be talking about this from the perspective of the cross watcher. If that does resonate with you, then just place it into your life as it fits. Yes. Excellent, guys. Let's get into this. I'm going to give this two more shuffles here, starting with the love oracle cards. We're going to see and get an overall energy. What's going on for you? What messages do we have for my water signs in terms of love at this time, please, spirit? What's going on with the water signs? What do we want to talk about with the water signs today? Soulmates. Ooh, we haven't seen that card in a long time. What's going on for these soulmates with my water signs? Do you have a new soulmate that you're connecting with? That's kind of the first thing that I want to say here. Um, uh, soulmates does say, let me show you. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, goodness gracious. Oy. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> I got to get better with this whole setup thing. Okay. You would think after all this time, anyway, soulmates here, are you going to, are you going to, are you going to, you're not going to, you're not, you're not going to, okay. You're not going to focus. All right. Well, there's soulmates. It says soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Um, the, okay, so what I'm feeling the most right now about this water signs is that you have, it feels like you're connecting with somebody new um, in a soulmate level. That's the, I mean, that's the, that's the strongest, thing, strongest thing that I'm getting right now about this, just by looking at this one card. There's someone that you're connecting with here. Um, you have, or you're feeling a very strong soul connection with someone. Um, you may have, what's also kind of standing out to me here is that you may have some sort of soul contract or agreement some of you may actually be questioning why you feel such a strong connection to someone. It may very well be that you have some sort of soul contract with them. A partnership, yes. Um, something that you have agreed to work on with this person, to go through with this person, to experience with this person. Okay, but there is very, definitely a very strong soul connection between you and someone else. The next card you have here is girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment. This is where I feel you are right now, water signs. Okay, you're in this moment of um, just having fun on your own, you know, being in your own space uh, with yourself, doing things in your own time, I'm hearing, not really rushing anything, not really rushing around, trying to do anything crazy or extra. I feel like you're very much in an energy of just maybe keeping to yourself. Um, happily single does feel very strong here. Um, maybe you're spending time with, with friends, maybe, although I just feel like you're spending a lot of solitary time water signs um but the thing about this is that's kind of making the advent of this soulmate connection kind of take you by surprise and but you see this is the thing this is kind of how these situations work a lot of the time when you're spending a lot of time focusing on you being with yourself enjoying yourself regardless as to whatever it is you're specifically doing to enjoy yourself if you're just living in the moment, like this card says, having fun, like this card says, you know, just doing what brings you joy, then the universe has a literally a wide open doorway to bring you all kinds of different things that you desire. 
a, a, a relationship with another person could very well be one of those things, okay? I definitely feel like for whomever this is resonating for here, this is kind of taking you by surprise, the advent of this soulmate connection. You may have met this person out and about, out in the streets, hanging out with your friends. I am seeing a mall. Does anyone go to the mall anymore? <laughs> I don't know, but like you may have been out at like, I'm literally seeing a mall. You might've met somebody at the mall, you know, ran into this person. Um, for some of you, actually what I'm picking up on here is that you were out at the mall or maybe you were just out shopping or, you know, or, you know, window shopping or just like walking around, having fun, um, enjoying yourself, going with the flow, you know, going in this store, in that store, not really intending to buy anything, but just, just browsing, looking around, having a good time, just floating around on a whim. And you ended up running into someone that either is brand new to you that you are finding you have this strong connection with, or this actually could be someone that you knew from the past. Um, I'm thinking, I'm feeling picking up previous, not a pre, not necessarily a previous lifetime, but previous in this lifetime years and years ago okay but something about this person or this connection right now is very different now than it was back then um, and I feel like for this select group of individuals that may be resonating with this part of the reading your lives are very different now than when than they were back then you you as individuals both of the both you and this other person are very much different people or have gone through a set of circumstances that have very much changed your energy your mindset your your vibration and obviously that would be exactly what has helped to gravitate or bring you two back together but also there could be a level of some sort of soul contract partnership that is meant to be had between the two of you. And that's also why you have gravitated back together. That could also be why you had the specific experiences that you had in your lifetime to bring you to the place that you are in this moment in your life for you to be, to find yourself as the person that you are in this moment of your life to be brought back to this person or for the two of you to come back together in some way. I feel like you were just out and about and you just ran into each other and you were like, holy shit, I haven't seen you in years. How have you been? Blah, blah, blah. And just the connection just kind of is growing from there, okay? This is really beautiful. Anything, one more card at least. Just one more card for shut up. Good God, you guys. All right, so the next card that you have here, brace yourselves, kids. It is in fact Twin Flames. Yin and yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, completion, e completing each other. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh geez. I keep, I, ugh, this, there has got to be a better system for this. <laughs> okay, you guys. Um, I keep trying to, uh, hold on. Let me, let me, let me adjust this. Hold on. Okay. That's better. I'm slowly but surely starting to figure out where I need to place this thing. The thing about it is that like, I have my camera on a tripod, right? And um, this tripod, I move all the time. Like I, I can't just like keep it in one place and not have to worry about it. I take this tripod with me wherever I go. So I end up having to like reset everything. And sometimes I don't quite under, I don't quite get it right. But now I'm starting to, I'm starting to figure it out here. Okay, sorry guys, back to the reading, Twin Flames. There's that. <laughs> okay so you're going through a twin flame experience with this person this is someone that you absolutely may feel like is your twin flame or a divine counterpart let's just say that okay whether you whether you see it as a twin flame or not that's guess that's neither here nor there what spirit really wants to say is there is some sort of divine partnership divine mission divine connection there's something there's something okay the twin flame card here really could just be that there is a very significant role that this person is meant to play in your life and you are meant to play in this person's life okay now with that said you do have the golden mirror at the bottom of the deck which does say self-absorbed narcissist one-sided relationship love bombing 
Uh, there may be a risk for that in this situation. There may be the potential for love bombing in this situation. The strongest thing that I feel about the golden mirror here is that this is this, the, the golden mirror energy represents some sort of past circumstance. <sighs> that one of you, I'm hearing, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm channeling this message, so give me a moment, because um, I'm hearing a bunch of different things. And on, on one hand, I'm hearing that one of you has gone through, okay, so there's some sort of self-absorbed, you were with some sort of self-absorbed narcissistic individual, you were in some sort of one-sided relationship. I'm hearing, I'm, okay, all right, you know, I'm hearing all kinds of different things, but what I'm feeling the most, there may be some sort of interference happening with this message here. You might be dealing with some sort of interference in your life. Um, because I'm hearing a bunch of different things that are a little bit confusing, but then I'm feeling something. So I'm going to go what I feel instead of just what I hear, okay? Because I feel like the words that are being used are kind of being, are fairly manipulative. So that might, there may be some sort of confusion going on in your head right now or in this person's head. What I want to say to you is, do not focus on what you hear so much as what you feel. Okay, because what I feel in this is that the two, the both of you have dealt with some sort of self-absorbed individual, some sort of narcissistic, narcissist empath paradigm, potentially, or some sort of one-sided relationship in the past. And that's part of the experiences that the two of you have had as individuals that have helped to bring you into a certain alignment that you're in that is bringing you two together at this time. Okay, now uh, a few things. One, pay close attention to how you feel. Not necessarily the voices you may be hearing in your head, the words you may be hearing in your head, the words or voices you may be hearing external to you, as in friends, family, colleagues, co-workers, whatnot, whatever, that seem to be opinionated in a certain way or seem to have certain opinions about the situation. I mean, don't, I'm not saying to completely disregard your friends and family, especially if they are people that you truly respect, have a great deal of respect for, and usually takes a, a level of advice from. I'm saying what's most important for you in terms of whatever decision-making process or whatever it is you may be deciding or whatever conclusions you may be coming to in terms of this situation or relationship, pay more attention to, place more stock in how it is you feel inside instead of allowing yourself to get confused by what it is you hear okay i feel especially if this is a truly a twin flame relationship if that's what resonates for you or if this is some sort of serious divine partnership um, that often comes with a level of interference involved by what we will we can call dark forces, negative entities, individuals that are under the influence or manipulation of dark forces and negative entities, individuals that find themselves threatened by certain relationships like this, because this could very well be some sort of power couple dynamic that many people that are on the darker side of um uh, ascension not ascension of of spirituality or uh, i can I, I wouldn't even say that because i feel like if they're on the darker side of this situation they're more on an evil i guess we could say for lack of a better term or destructive they're on a more destructive side of this they wouldn't necessarily consider themselves spiritual i guess unless there's some there's some sort of like black magic practitioner or something like you know what i mean something like that because I, I want to be very clear in what I, what I, how I describe this here because just because you may be on the darker side of things, it doesn't mean that you're evil. It doesn't mean that you're trying to sabotage. It doesn't mean that you're trying to destroy. I want to make that very clear. That is a very common misunderstanding. Just because something is dark doesn't mean it's evil or bad. 
But if there, is, if there are individuals or entities, like the interference that is happening right now, do you hear how the chicken, do you hear the chickens right now? You hear them? There's definitely a level of interference that's happening in this situation. Okay, whether this interference is in your head and you're telepathically or psychically hearing these voices in your head that are trying to deter you from this situation or this relationship, this partnership, this soulmate situation that you have with someone, or you're dealing with this and or it could be both or you're dealing with this level of interference external to you in terms of people around you, friends and even family that may actually be threatened by this relationship. I need you to be very focused instead on how it is you feel about this person and also the individuals that are around you or the voices that you're hearing versus how you feel about them. What feelings do you get from these interfering entities? whether they be physical or non-physical. And some of you are listening to this like, you're insane. If you're hearing voices in your head, then you need to be in a mental hospital. If that's the case, if that's what you're thinking, then this message probably is not for you. And probably this channel is probably not for you, okay? Telepathy is real. Voices are real. I mean, I, 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 I am, clairaudient. I am strongly clairaudient. So oftentimes when I'm channeling these messages, I hear voices of my spirit guides, of other people's spirit guides, of, of, of spirits, of, of spirits that have crossed over. I mean, I could tell you stories about this, but that doesn't mean I'm crazy. It doesn't mean I need to be in a mental hospital. If that's really what you feel, if that's really what you think, then this message is probably not for you. And if there are people around you that are trying to make you seem like or come across or feel like you're crazy well darling that's gaslighting and those are individuals that you need to stay away from but anyway back to this i'm sorry just a moment okay guys we're damn we're 17 minutes into this and i haven't even gotten to the tarot yet but yes i mean i had to go out there's some sort of interference involved with this situation for some of you. For most of you, I wanna say that's a big part of this situation. It does not surprise me in the least. If we have such a power couple, a power dynamic type of energy, I literally had to go outside and like tell the chickens to shut up. I, I like literally just like, are you, are, are you done? Are you done? Oh good, thank you so much. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Um, th this is a, this is some sort of power couple dynamic. Okay. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't feel like the golden mirror energy here is between the two of you. I feel like you two, when you come together or in terms of you two coming together, you expose these self-absorbed, narcissistic, one-sided one relationship type of energies around you. I feel like, okay, all right. So there's also an element here of um, the advent of you two coming together here and the power within that and the way that it triggers the peop certain people around you, the way that it, th it is a threat to certain people around you that is causing them to, to feel a certain type of way and to act out accordingly. And in the way that they're acting out, it is showing you firsthand the self-absorbed, narcissistic, one-sided relationship type energies that they embody. And it's also giving you the potential to see how one-sided that relationship is between you and that person. Not this person that is your soulmate twin flame, but these other people or these other friends or family members that are triggered by or are threatened by your relationship with this person. And it's causing them to act out in very selfish ways. And you're able, you have the, the opportunity to see just how one-sided that relationship is with that person. Because all they really care about is the fact that now they seem to be losing your attention or they could potentially could lose you altogether to this person here who seems to have a better connection with you than they do. Who the fuck does this person think they are? Well, quite frankly, who the hell do they think they are to treat you like this when you seem to have a really beautiful relationship in front of you? 
If this person or these people were really your friends or truly your advocates or truly on your side, I could see them sure being concerned to make sure that this new person is not trying to, is not going to hurt you. But if you're truly happy, if you're really finding someone that you really vibe with, like you have a really deep soul connection, and I'm talking the type of connection that you don't find easily, you don't come across every day. I don't want to say once in a lifetime, but it's something along those lines. It kind of feel it's like that. Then these people, these friends, these family members should be happy for you. Not should be, would be happy for you. I'm not saying they wouldn't be a little cautious at first. Like, let me peep this person, this guy, this girl out, make sure they're not like, they're not trying to run game on you. But once they start to see that, oh no, actually this is a really good relationship or a good connection for you. Why wouldn't they be happy for you? Ask yourself that question. Why would they be triggered by this? Why would they be trying to sabotage this? Why would they try to be getting in between you and them? Because this person is a threat. Because, because their self-absorbed energy, their narcissistic energy, their one-sided situation is being exposed has the potential to be exposed because now you are aligning with someone that probably truly loves you, really cares for you, really wants to treat you well. And these other people around you are going to be found out because of it, because you're going to be like, wow, so-and-so does this, that, and the third for me. And I mean, I understand they're trying to like date me or whatnot, whatever, but like, you've never done that. You've never treated me that way. And you're supposed to be like my best friend. You're supposed to be my mom. You're supposed to be my sister, my brother, my cousin, my, my homeboy, my homegirl, like my, my ride or die. And like, you've never treated me that way. See, that interference is a good thing. Mm -hmm. That interference is definitely a good thing because it puts them on blast inadvertently. Oh, what, which deck am I using? This one. Okay. Um, yeah. I keep looking. Okay, you know what? We're going to go to the gold. I was going to use this. It's the, um, the, the uh, Crystal Visions deck, but I'm being, my eyes are keep being drawn over to the Golden Universal Tarot, specifically this specific deck. I don't know why. So, okay. We're going to use this deck then. Let's get some clarification on this situation yeah last shuffle here for my water signs cancer scorpio pisces i want to it's it's um you know after talking through all of that you guys it's no wonder that girl talk here is in the middle of this soulmate twin flame type of energy. You literally have, and the first thing on this card is time with friends. You literally have people that are coming in between this soulmate twin flame dynamic. Also, I want to say, don't place too much stock on the whole twin flame situation. I mean, like, sure, that's a thing, or we can call it a thing if you want it to be a thing. I don't know, I'm not here to define that for you. But one thing I just picked up on here with this twin flame card is don't place too much stock in this label, okay? This may come out just because you guys really do complement each other extremely well. I do feel that. I feel like your, your energies vibe, like you are just like such a perfect match for each other at this time. Okay, at this time in your lives where, especially if the beginning of that resonated where you've known this person for years, like, or at least you knew them way back when, and maybe you were like polar opposites, you absolutely were repulsive towards each other or something like that, or your energies just like did not mesh well. And now all of a sudden you run into this person out and about being social. Oh, I also want to say, um, I was re remember I was seeing like a mall setting or something like that. That mall setting doesn't necessarily need to be a mall. It could just be some sort of social atmosphere, you know, an atmosphere in which you go and you're communicating with people. Maybe there's a bit of commerce here or there, or just you're, you're, you have the potential, you're in a big group of people. All right. Or you're in a place where there is a lot of people and you have that type of potential to run into this person like that. But now you have run into this person at this time in your life and you two just like click, like you're just like magnets to each other. Okay. Okay. 
Clarify soulmates, please. Actually, no. We're gonna clarify girl talk first. Clarify girl talk. The first card out is the devil, you guys. Capricorn energy specifically. I, I, I don't know why. I, I don't normally I don't normally look at the cards and think of the signs, but that struck me when I saw the cat when I saw the devil. The devil is, rep is is associated with Capricorn. Like this is the official Capricorn card. Okay, so um, you might so some of these people or this individual might be a Capricorn, and that might be a good amount of confirmation for someone because what I'm feeling here is somebody needed to hear that because y you're on the fence as to whether or not this person is actually a friend or a foe, like is actually a really an ally to you or not. And if all of this has been resonating for you and now it's come down to it's a Capricorn that has been in question for you all along, I think that is your confirmation right there, okay? But either way, this girl talk energy, these people, these time with friends, these friends, these individuals, associations, whatnot, whatever, people that are familiar to you that you're associated with are literally coming in between you and this soulmate. For codependent reasons, I want to say, because the devil absolutely does represent codependency, okay? Or at least it can. And this person absolutely would be, or these people absolutely would be codependent on you because they get some sort of validation from you or it's like a, a one-sided thing. It's a, it's a self-absorbed type of thing. So they would be codependent on you because you provide that source of validation to their self-absorbed reality. Okay. I mean, I know that doesn't sound too good for you, but like it is what it is. Take it as it resonates. Now that you're aware of it, you know you can do something about it, okay? I'm not, I'm like no, no, no hate, no shade. Definitely not trying to pass judgment on you for that. It's just, it is what it is, boo. <laughs> okay, clarify the girl talk more, please. Two more cards at least, just two more cards. Four of wands. Ooh, okay. The Six of Swords and then the Page of Pentacles. Overall energy is the Nine of Swords. All right, here is the thing about this. About this girl talk energy. And I guess this might be the reason for the, the main message in this reading here. Um, I want to say I feel like you're trading foundations here. You guys, whereas at one point in your life, you had a foundation between you and this friend, this, these family members. The first thing that I, one of the first things that I felt actually when the four of wands came out was that this has to do with family. Um, and if it's not specific uh, blood relatives or, um, or in-laws or whatever, however your fi family dynamic is set up, then this is, these are friends, this is a friend unit, or these are individuals or an individual that you have some sort of long-standing foundation with. And this person is threatened, or these people are threatened, because I definitely feel like you are trading that foundation with those people, or that person, or that association. You're trading that foundation for a new foundation with this new person. You have the Six of Swords to the Page of Pentacles here, which does talk about moving on, moving forward, moving from rough waters to calmer waters, Six of Swords, and starting a new commitment or starting a new reality, Page of Pentacles. I want to say the Six of Swords is very, very appropriate here because I feel like the foundation you had with this toxic association, this codependent energy, these friends, these family, that was a problematic situation to begin with. And in typical water sign fashion, especially for my Cancerians and my Pisceans here, Scorpio... I feel like for my Scorpios out there, there was a very specific, very, very, very specific reason that you were remaining aligned to this individual or these people. Now, Scorpio, you are a fixed sign, so you're very much a loyalist, okay? Just like all the other fixed signs. Loyalty is very important to my fixed signs. Yes, Taurus, Leo, uh, Aquarius, and Scorpio, right? Loyalty is... 
a, a cross that a fixed sign would most likely end up dying on, okay? So for my Scorpios out there, this was a very specific loyalty type of situation or association. But for my Cancerians and my Pisceans, it's a little more nebulous than that, especially for Pisces. Cancer, this might have been, Cancer, this might actually be family, or these might be individuals or someone that you consider family, very, very close to. Pisces, for you, it's a little more like you're a little more susceptible to a bit of emotional manipulation. For my Pisceans out there, out there, this actually could have been an association in which you were being emotionally manipulated the whole time by these pers by this, this person or these individuals, okay? But either way, um, oh, and also for Cancer, there's also just a level of extreme compassion for others, maybe you were being emotionally manipulated too. I feel like all of you were being emotionally manipulated to a certain extent, okay? But regardless as to the specifics, the foundation between you and these friends or these individuals that are trying to come in between you and this soulmate was problematic to begin with. But the advent of this soulmate, divine, divine partner, twin flame, whatever you want to call it, the, the, the advent of this strong, connection between you and this other person, the advent of that coming into your life is catalyzing a shift within you that is driving these people insane. Nine of Swords. Because they don't know what to do. What I heard specifically is that they are running out of options or they have run out of options. This might be something that has been happening for some time. And over and over and over again, these individuals or this person has been taking steps to come in between you and this and your soulmate here. And each and every time, systematically, it has not worked. And now they're like, what the fuck do I do now? Because you are basically out the door at this point. And here's the other thing about it. This is why you don't even want to be involved with these types of individuals, let alone portraying this type of energy yourself, because they have found, they have put themselves on blast with their antics over all of this time. It's not just that you have this soulmate, which is mirroring to you exactly what that, so, that self-absorbed narcissistic energy was looking like external to you. It, and they're not mirroring it to you because they're portraying it, this soulmate. They're mirroring it. They're helping you see this mirror because they are showing you something different. Okay? But in all of this time that these individuals have been trying to get in between you and this soulmate, they have been doing nothing, nothing but exposing themselves or exposing their own true colors, trying to sabotage this situation. So not only do you have this person in your life that is showing you something really beautiful, but you're also halfway out the door or just about out the door because you see the true colors in these people now and you're like, oh my God, no, I don't want that. No, I don't want to be friends with you. No, I don't want to be associated with you. No, I don't really, no, I'm not coming to the family function. They've exposed themselves. That's part of the reason why they're in this nine of swords energy, water signs. <laughs> like, isn't that ironic? <laughs> Like, damn, ain't that about a bitch? Whew, how does that work out? I mean, I'm shit, I don't know, but it sure works in your favor, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Let's get, let's, I mean, I really feel like that's the reading for you here. Because that's, I mean, we're 33 minutes into this and all I've done is talk about all these other energies. And the biggest, the biggest... The biggest takeaway from this is trust how you feel versus all the interference that may be coming up in your life right now. Trying to sabotage this situation, trying to sabotage you, trying to run you off the rails, off the road, whatnot, whatever. Don't listen to your heart. Listen to you how you truly feel about this instead of all the chatter that may be going on in your head and all the chatter that may be going on around you. And if this is stuff that's in your head, then it's programming that you're starting to see the truth about, or it's dark entities, negative entities that are telepathically communicating with you that you now see you don't need to be listening to, right? Easier said than done, especially when it's in your head, but okay. 
Awareness is the first step towards changing something, right? Right. Let's talk about soulmates here. Clarify soulmates, please. What do you want to say about soulmates? The Hierophant. There is some sort of connection. Um, uh, not connection. There's some sort of um, commitment that's coming through here. There's definitely a soul contract between the two of you. You do have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Clarify soulmates, please. The Knight of Swords. Oh, there is definitely a contract between the two of you here. Part of this relationship here, Nine of Wands is the overall energy. Part of this connection between the two of you here is to help you learn or to help both of you really learn about and fight against and cut out these energies in your life that are one-sided, narcissistic, all that kind of stuff. Okay. The Hierophant definitely is representing a contract between the two of you, some sort of learning and teaching type of situation. So this soulmate here, um, there now, as always, there are no guarantees that anything like nothing lasts forever. All right. Um, and what I'm getting with this here, you guys, is that this for some of you, this may be a transitory situation. But there is some sort of agreement or some sort of contract between the two of you for either one or both of you to learn this lesson about some of the self-absorbed energies, narcissistic energies, one-sided relationships that are around you and how to fight back against that, how to combat, combat that. Okay, Knight of Wands in reverse is not a good energy. Very wishy-washy, very self-absorbed, very reckless, extremely reckless. Like the Knight of Wands can be a slightly reckless anyway, but when he's reversed, he is the epitome of recklessness. And that recklessness can just be a, 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 um, um, represented in how someone is reckless with someone else's life or someone else's feelings or someone else's reality, all because of their self-absorbed nature, right? There is something you are meant to learn within this soulmate connection about narcissistic, self-absorbed, one-sided relationships. And I don't feel like it's coming from this soulmate. I feel like it's coming from this soulmate showing you one thing that's really beautiful and really healthy and really wonderful. And you being able to see the mirror, uh, the mirror element to, or the exact opposite that you may be experiencing in certain relationships around you that you have just been persevering with nine of wands. Okay. Okay. Clarify twin flame then. Clarify Twin Flames for my water signs, please, Spirit. What do you want to say about the Twin Flame energy here? The King of Swords, be as objective as possible. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, oh my God. To the Queen of Swords, shut up, yo. Okay, but I assume, but now I, I, before the Queen of Swords came out, I knew exactly what this was trying to say. But then the Queen of Swords came out and I was like, damn, all right. Anything else? Last card here, Queen of Pentacles. Oh, okay. And then overall energy is the Wheel of Fortune. And you know what I want to what I want to say with the Wheel of Fortune energy? I'm hearing tale as old as time, but not because of the beauty that is Beauty and the Beast or whatever that song is trying to say about the relationship between Beauty and the Beast. I'm literally hearing look, tale as old as time. This shit ain't nothing new, okay? All right? It has nothing to do with Beauty and the Beast, although there may be a level of Stockholm Syndrome that's <laughs> that, that someone may be experiencing here. And Oh, shit. Okay, well, wait. Hold on a second, because for somebody here, you are a, a, a victim of a bit of Stockholm Syndrome with this devil, toxic self-absorbed one-sided relationship you've been dealing with oh my god total stockholm syndrome holy shit i mean if, if you think about it if you really think about it the knight of wands and the re in reverse and the reckless type energy that the knight of wands in reverse would represent this absolutely could be the beast in beauty and the beast because he was so reckless. I mean, he got himself 
into that position as being made into the physical representation of the externally or the physical representation of the beast that he was internally, right? Because of his recklessness with other people's lives, with his servants, with being of the of the of the of affluence in the way that he was and how he used that against people, when how he he trapped Bell in that how in, in, in his mansion like that. All because what? Her father was there and she wanted to get him out. She wanted to save her father. So he let the father go and trapped Bell in the thing, but he didn't even let, he didn't even like give the father safe passage. He just released him out to the wolves, reckless, right? So someone really here, someone here could be dealing with a level of Stockholm syndrome and coming out of that conditioning. And that is absolutely what this twin flame connection or this divine partnership or extremely strong, there is something, whether you want to call this divine or not, or a twin flame reading, no, I'm sorry, whether you want to call this a twin flame connection or not, the twin flame card came out because of the divine soulmate connection that is associated with that. And it's that energy. This doesn't necessarily have to be a twin flame situation. This could just be an extremely high vibrational relationship. Well, it is. It is a, an extremely high vibrational relationship, a divine partnership, the type of partnership that is giving you the clear objective point of view, King of Swords, to be extremely discerning Queen of Swords in terms of the, your sense of self-worth, the Queen of Pentacles. And that is one of the main things that the Twin Flame journey will help you learn your sense of self-worth. Normally it happens with the individual that you are considering your twin flame and all the toxicity that flows between the two of you and you needing to make draw certain lines in the sand or draw certain boundaries, queen of swords, because of how you're being treated here and being objective about that, king of swords. And that takes me to my second point. And that, that which takes me to where I was initially hearing tale as old as time, this twin flame situation. Shit is tale as old as time. Okay. Twin flame realities are very real. I'm not going to say they're not real, but they're not exactly what everyone makes them out to be, or at least what mainstream makes them out to be. First and foremost, and this is why I was saying to you that not everything that not everything lasts forever. Okay, so that doesn't mean even though we have this Hierophant energy here, and yes, that does mean commitment, so does this Page of Pentacles, that doesn't mean that you guys are going to be together forever. You might get married, you might, if that's in the cards for you, but everybody, this is a general reading, everybody's situation is different. So just like I don't want you to get, up, get caught up on the, 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 the marriage or the commitment that this represents necessarily, I also don't want you to get caught up on the Twin Flame label. And I said that in the beginning of this reading. And that's kind of what I was getting with the King of Swords at first. And then the Queen of Swords came out and I was like, yup, that's exactly what I was getting. And then the Queen of Pentacles came out and I was like, good God, yes, that's exactly what I was getting. What was I getting? You need to remain as objective as possible in the face of this twin flame reality. Because if this individual turns out to not be treating you right or turns about to be not being as up and up as they say, or as you may want, then you need to be as discerning as possible, King of Swords to say, okay, I know, I see exactly what's going on here. And now I'm going to have to draw a line. I'm going to have to draw a boundary, Queen of Swords, because I am holding on to my self-worth, Queen of Pentacles, okay? Just be very clear on that. That's really all, that's all I want to say about that. That's the only message that I'm getting here. I don't want to harp on that too much because really, really what I feel like this is showing you here is exactly who you are to these certain individuals that have been trying to get into the middle of this relationship. And this soulmate twin flame situation has, if it doesn't serve any other purpose in your life, other than showing you what a real, true, loving relationship, high vibrational relationship would be, should be, would feel like, then this relationship is showing you exactly what you're worthy of. 
exactly what your self-worth is versus how certain individuals in your life have been treating you and the cycle you've been dealing with in terms of that and the Stockholm syndrome you may have been a victim of in this situation. And it took someone coming into your life in such a high vibrational way or in such a perfect divine match, divine matchmaking, but in such a perfect match to show you how to vibrate higher, what it means to feel like you're vibrating higher and show you just exactly the low vibrational toxic shit you've got going on around you. Talk about divine matchmaking. Talk about divine intervention. Yo, this is fucking beautiful. I love that you have this relationship in your life right now, water signs. And if I had the message coming through to tell you the future of this relationship that trust and believe me, honey, I would be chomping at the bit to share it with you. But that's not what I'm getting here. What I'm getting here is that regardless as to whatever the future of this relationship is, as it stands right now, this is providing you with a mirror towards the narcissism, one-sided relationships, love bombing, self-absorbed types of individuals you have got around you. Okay? Otherwise, keep moving forward with this relationship because this is beautiful. What I feel for in the future, I feel like you guys are going to be having a lot of fun together coming up. And really, that's all I want you to focus on. That's all spirit wants you to focus on. Don't focus on when this is going to end, if it's going to end, and if it does, how it's going to end. Nope, don't focus on that. Focus on what you have in front of you, which is the current moment. Enjoy what you have going on with this soul soulmate right now, this divine partner right now, and don't you dare let anybody try and come and get come in between you any longer. Okay? Don't worry about the future. Focus on the now. Beautiful. I want to get you a closing message here. Closing message, and we're going to get it from the Romance Angels. Yes? Closing message from my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Last shuffle. All right. Here we go. Closing message. Keep an open mind. Yep. Excuse me. Now this says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Uh, for some of you, you're very much at the beginning of this situation because what this is making me think of, this is taking me back to how, um, you know, this person, you and this person may be very different in the past when you knew each other back then, but now things have changed and this person has come back into your life and you're feeling something you're, Oh, is that's what's happening? Is that okay? So that could be what's happening here too. That could be how some individuals may be trying to get in between you, specifically friends or family members that knew this person back then as well. You guys have come back together for a very specific reason. And what I feel like is that if you have come back together in this way, and what I feel like is you've come together because now your vibration or your energies match each other in some really beautiful, beneficial, wonderful ways. Like this very well could end up in a marriage. Don't get me wrong, but this is a general reading. So like, take it as it resonates, okay? I do feel that in there, but I also don't want you to fill you with false hope or give you false things, like, like be discerning, okay? But either this person has a past, you have a past, or these people know of the past when you guys were different and now you're coming, like, keep an open mind and focus more on how you feel in this connection versus what everyone else might be saying around you, okay? All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This was a really long reading. Oh my God, almost an hour long. Anyway, hey, it is what it is, right? I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to smash that like button for me, especially if you've been here throughout the whole reading, like definitely smash that like button for me. I really appreciate it. Share this with a friend. If you know someone that may be going through this, definitely share this with them and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Yes, I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Bye.